Hello everyone, in our last video, um, I talked about the 45-45-90 special triangle and in this video I said that I'm going to make a two part video and so in this video I want to really get deep into the second special triangle which is the 30-60-90 Okay, so let me just... And like I said, I want to derive it for you, I don't want to just give you the triangle and, you know, give you the sides and give you everything and then just memorize it. I don't like doing that. Okay, so what I'm first going to draw, because I have to start somewhere, is an equilateral triangle. Oh my god, let's go pyramid. Hmm. Okay, so that's... Okay. Um... And, you know, each triangle has its own properties, whether it's equilateral, isosceles, it doesn't matter. They have their own properties. And if you know, an equilateral triangle has a couple of properties. Its first is that all the angles inside are equal. They are the same. And they are 60 degrees. Okay, so that's, uh, you know, this is the rule. And, you know, it makes sense because 60 plus 60 is 120 plus 60 is 180. And uh, another property is that all the sides, the lengths, are the same. Okay? Um, for this, because we have to kind of derive this, um, in order to do that, I have to say we have to let each of these sides be length 2. Okay, so if this is length 2, this is going to be length 2, and this. Okay, I, I hate doing that. But, um, for the sake of this explanation, we have to suck it up. Um, and now, in order for me to get close to this, I ha I'm going to divide this triangle. All I'm going to do is divide this triangle, let me use a different color, in half. I'm just going to... Why is it... Okay. You know what? My coloring is not. No. I'm gonna derive, uh, move, divide this in half. And if I do, some couple of things change. First of all, since I divided this two in half, this becomes a one, and this becomes a one. Right? And now, what I'm gonna do is pick one side to work with. I'm gonna work, I'm gonna pick this side, okay? So this side. I'm gonna redraw this side right here, you know, on the bottom actually. Um, so we have a better picture of what we are working with. So this was still a 60, right? This is a 2. This we said is a 1 because we divided the 2 in, one, in half. This is, now this. It's supposed to be a right angle. Ah, jeez. This is actually a 90 degree angle because it comes straight, right? That's that's the point of this, so we get the angle measurements correct. And this, I mean, you can do, because you got a 90 and a 60, you can do 180 minus 90 minus 6 and you will get 30. But um, you can also see that we really divided this 60 in half, right? So if we're working with this, this obviously becomes a 30. It's half of 60. Right? So this is a 30. Okay, great. Now we need to, you know, we got everything inside. Now we need to find all the side lengths. So we got the hypotenuse, we got this side. Um, and now we need this one. So in order to find it, you use the Pythagorean theorem. So it's a squared plus b squared c squared or um call this c no call this b no <laughs> a squared plus one squared equals two squared well it's going to be a four this is going to be a one plus a squared if you move this one on this side you get four minus one three a squared take the root so these guys cancel both sides, so a becomes a square root 3. Okay, so this is, no longer an a, this is square root 3. 
Okay, now is the time where I need to, we're basically done, but I need to do two things. I'm going to refer to the unit circle two times this time. Um, and I'll show you why. If you know your unit circle, I talked about it in my last video, but not really in fine detail, but you know, roughly. So unit circle is where we really draw angles. It's a point. It has this point that goes around the circle. Okay. So if we want to draw, remember how we, um, if you watched my last video, I was talking about the 45, 45, 90. If you want to draw the 45, 45, 90 triangle on this um, unit circle, it will look something like this. We would start at our, at our initial position, standard position, and we would go 45 degrees, and then we would make this radius, or the draw the hypotenuse of the triangle, really, drop the height, and this would be the 45 degrees, that's where the angle goes. This obviously would be a 45, and this is a 90. This is always a 90. Okay? So that's how we would draw that. Now, we have a different situation. Here, because there we had 45 and 45, so they're both the same. Here we have a 60 and a 30. So if we draw a 60, we would start at our initial, go 60 degrees up, draw this line till the end of the circle, and that would be the point actually, and draw up this height, it's a very skinny triangle, and this would be 60, this would be 30, this would be 90, and that's how our triangle looks, the 60 is right there, the 30 is there, and the 90 is there, right? But there's another length here, a 30. I want to work with a 30 today. What if I wanted to draw a 30 angle on the unit circle? Well, I would have to go 30 degrees up. And obviously 30 is smaller than 60. It's a half. Oh my goodness. And drop this height. This would be a 30. This would be a 30 degree. This would be a 90, right? It's a straight angle, right angle. And this, well, this has to be a 60, correct? Um, so this, what we have, you know, the formation of our triangle, the way it sits, you know, on um, where the base is and where the hypotenuse is, this is good for us if I'm drawing a 60 degree angle on my unit circle, right? Because this is, pretend this is the initial line, the axis, and I'm going 60 degrees up. So I would draw this on my unit circle, and this would be the point. You know what I mean? So this is good for a 60 degree. What if I wanted to draw a 30 degree, like I did here? Well, then this will have to be a 30, right? So if I just redraw my triangle with a 30 degree, um, it will look something like this. This would be 30 degrees, right? Because that's how we want to draw on our unit circle. This is the number of the angle. This is the angle we are drawing on our unit circle. Since it's a 30, this has to be a 30. This will be a 90, and this has to be a 60. Whew, okay. And since the 30 is here, we're really rearranging the numbers. Opposite of 30 is 1. Right? So opposite of 30, this is a 1 now. Opposite of 60 is a root 3. 60, square root 3. And our other length is a 2. Our hypotenuse is always a 2, in this case, for now. Okay, so we drew two versions of this triangle. We just moved it around for the sake of both angles, you know? Because we don't want to just draw the 60, we want to consider the 30, right? The 90... The 90 is always on this side, no matter if you're drawing a 45 or a 60, this will be the 90, this will be the, this is always a right angle, you know what I mean? Okay? So, 
Now that we got that, I just want to explain that little thing, okay? Um, it's the same triangle. It's still 30, 60, 90. I just moved it around, so 30 would be also considered. Now, we are basically done. However, there's one little thing we have to take care of that I talked about my old, in my last video. The hypotenuse. Here it's a 2, and here it's a 2. It didn't change. But remember the rule in a unit circle, if you want to draw the angle, um, you have to make sure the radius is 1. The radius of the circle is just from here to here, right? This would be the diameter, but this is the radius. Or the hypotenuse. So the hypotenuse also has to be 1. Okay, you can think about it like that. Um, well, let's look at our triangle. This is not a 1. This is not a 1. I'm going to work with this one this for the time being. So, how do we make this 2 a 1? Well, well, we just have to think about it. It's really easy. Um, you multiply by an x to get rid of it. You multiply by an x both sides and you get 2 equals 1 times x, which is x. So, 2 divided by 2 equals a 1. Right? That makes sense. It's a 1. But we said... In my last video, I said that um, if you're dividing this side by 2, you have to divide this side by 2 and this side by 2. It really looks like this. If I just draw my original side lengths with a 1, oops, and a square root 3, this was the hypotenuse, right? So we said we have to make the hypotenuse of 1, so we divide by 2. But if we're dividing this side by 2, we have to divide this, like, you know, it's... Whatever you do on this side of the equation, you have to do here. And this. This simplifies to 1. This, well, you can't do anything with that. It's just a 1 half. And this is perfectly fine because the radical is in the numerator this time. If it was in the denominator, you would have to rationalize the denominator. But you're good. So these are your new lengths. Okay? So if I just redraw my final 30, 60, 90 triangle, but, you know from the 30 point of view, from the 30 degree point of view. I feel like I'm confusing you. That's not good. So this is a 30, 60, 90. Now we made the hypotenuse of 1. We made, remember this was a 1, but then we had to divide by 2. So we got a 1 half. So this is a 1 half. And this is a square root 3, and then we, we, do, we divided it by 2, and we got square root 3 over 2. Notice, if we look at our 60 degree angle, right? no, yeah, if we look at our 60 degree angle, you know, just this part, which is 60, not 30, everything is the same, it's just this and this are flipped around. The 1 is here, the th uh, square root 3 is here. So what, if we would divide by 2, we would get something like that. This would become a 1, because we always want the hypotenuse to be a 1. We get square root 3 over 2, or 1 half. Okay? If you don't understand how I, the fact that I'm working with two triangles, then just focus on 1. Whichever, if you want to focus on this one, where we stopped, you know, we got all our lanes, we stopped at, at this one and just divide by your hypotenuse in order to get a 1, then stay with this one. If you want to understand that there is another angle that is not the same, because in our 45, 45, 90, the two angles are the same, 45 and 45. But here we have two different angles, so we have to consider both. And uh, I just moved that triangle around, and these guys switched. That's all. So this was my 30, 60, 90 triangle. I hope you understand. If you don't, please tell me exactly what confuses you. And if you have questions, don't hesitate to ask. Thank you very much.